G'day folks, Scarvig here. We're back having a look at Survival Fountain of Youth. It has released into early access from the demo that I was able to play prior to this. Uh, we might as well jump in and have a look straight away and have a look at what's changed in the game. Prior to this, the game had a very limited set of items that you could actually build, and I really wanted to get stuck into the base building, but it wasn't available in the demo. Now we're in early access, we should have access to all the features, albeit that there will be some unimplemented features, but we should have a lot more stuff. To look at. So we might as well start a new game. I am going to skip the intro and the tutorial. People can feel free to use that if they want. Okay, we need to find the grotto, which is revealed by a very distinctive rock. Uh, we will get to that soon enough. First, we have a look at the chest. There's quite a lot of items in here in terms of options that you can take. I've never taken any of the provisions before. Uh, things like the knife and the spear might seem obvious choices because, you know, something to fight with, the knife to be able to cut things. I tend to take the backpack at the start. Uh, the demo, you couldn't make very good items so there wasn't anything that even rivaled this 11 space backpack so this thing was beautiful to actually have right off the bat so I'm going to do that again the next one that I would actually take is the iron axe uh, whether they've changed it or not I don't know but the iron axe has 50 damage which has actually rivaled the spear plus it was also an axe that you could use to chop things down um, the basic axe that you actually get in the game the stone one did like 10 damage and so this axe is very powerful uh, and it's a very good item to take straight off the bat the iron flint is useful because starting a fire is actually quite difficult off the bat uh, you have a low percentage chance of starting fires uh, and so this will obviously help you with that and um, probably reduce the time that it takes the navy coat is somewhat useful it is basically an armor but with the bad weather that you come across uh, you can quite comfortably craft gear to at least protect from the sun the other elements maybe not so much but the navy coat is kind of like a it's, it's a nice to have but pr probably not a necessary to have it's probably just a comfort item where it'll make things a little bit smoother off the beginning whereas the the axe seems to be more uh, utility rather than smoothness and yeah the backpack i like the backpack and um, i'm hoping that i'll be able to get something a bit better and we'll find out as we get stuck into the game off we go Yes, I have everything that I want. Alright, we have our beginnings. First thing to note when you actually get here, obviously we have the quest to find the grotto. That's uh, actually rather obvious in the rock that appeared in the picture earlier. That is where we're going to be looking for the grotto. The thing that we're most interested in right off the very bat is up the top left. We have the burning sun. You can basically hold C to see the statuses that are going on. So currently I'm in the sun and I am getting a chance of burning. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get some shade and take stock of our situation and in the meantime we'll pick up a few things along the way we'll also grab a few of these palm prawns you can see down the bottom left that i'm already getting recipes based on what i've picked up so it's always worth grabbing new items that you've never seen before this game also seems to follow a similar system to you can see in the top left the sunburn is gone so i can walk out into the sun it comes back walk into the shade it goes away it does take time to go away and this is where games like uh, the long dark everything that you actually do if i was to craft something so i want to get the water from the coconut that i just found to be able to build it down the bottom right there you can actually see the time it takes to process so everything that you do takes a certain amount of time down the bottom left we can see our food our water our energy currently uh, a little bit low on food and water but energy is actually quite high however my health stat is currently got a red bar which is preventing me from getting fully healed up and that is this near death status as you get near death experiences it basically you take a penalty to your maximum health and you need to find specific items from the fountain of youth to be able to restore that and so i need to go and find some living water we'll see that soon enough 
so we found some food and we found some water I didn't want to drop that we are actually going to go and craft one of them fun thing about this is we can have a look at the food we get plus 30 of water but there is a chance of indigestion so there's always a risk depending on what you do so you can imagine if you had raw meat the chance of indigestion would be a lot higher than if you cooked it otherwise we'll eat that pretty low risk we'll get our food so a brown coconut 10 food three water we'll eat that not a huge amount of food but it's something we definitely want lots more fronds so we might as well do that now we select all, it's going to take us 30 minutes, we don't need a tool, it's all good, so we just get it. Bam, lots of stuff. However, in our crafting, we should see some clothes. I'm going to get leaf sandals. Ah, I'm missing one of the items. Very good, we'll pick that up along the way. kind of want to kill that crab, but I don't want to throw my axe at it. So, we'll head up the hill, and we'll go and get some items. See, that's the plant over there. We actually need heaps of those. We might have to risk it going night time here. Actually, what was it? The middle of the day right now. We get as many of these things as we can possibly get. These wide leaves are ridiculously useful. Up here we go, we've got to get some long sticks. Right, now I obviously know where a few of these items are because I've played the demo already. Um, those trees down there kind of give you bark and sticks. And you've got to find a very specific looking tree, which is this one here. What's it called again? A dreamer. This particular one allows you to get long sticks. This is where we're going to be able to get spears and things like that. Uh, oh, actually, before I get a long stick, here it is. I don't want to use my axe. Uh, to waste its durability. So, the effects of bad weather. Okay, I got my sunburn already. <laughs> it's alright. It'll go away eventually. Get into the shade while we do this. Crafting. We need to find our tools. To get a stone axe, we need to pick up some sticks. Which means we should probably actually go and have a look at that tree. Slip and slide down the hill. This one's a Pteranodon. Sounds like a dinosaur name. We'll grab all of that. While we're in the shade, we'll craft up tools. We'll get ourselves an axe. Craft it. And the reason why we grab this axe is we can use the primitive axe to chop down the trees and use its durability rather than my good axe, which I'm going to want for its high damage. So we can actually see here, it's going to use 20 durability of my axe's 80. So, we'll do that. So now we've got a bunch of long sticks and lose our shade, but that's fine. We're going to head back down. Now, we actually want to go over there, but we want to get some food first. So we might actually go and get a couple of the crabs on the beach. Sit in the shade. Might cure my sunburn after a little bit of time. Uh, melee weapons. And spear. 40 minutes. Oh, it's getting very close to dark. Alright, we got our thing. We'll put the spear where the axe is. Okay. Sneaky turn. Oh, shot. Nice. Looks like the sun's going away, so it's getting night time. Pick up one of these little shells. These have got a little bit of food in them too. It's basically a sea snail of some sort. But we're going to get another crab. Nice. On point with my spear throwing, apparently. We'll come back and investigate a bunch of this stuff. For now, it's time to run. Actually, there was an animal over here too. 
We might kill the animal that's coming along the way up here and get ourselves to the grotto. I believe there's a fireplace over there, so uh, pile of scrap. It's just going to give sticks, which I don't care about. Yeah, it's a little animal wandering around up there. Might uh, go and give it a go. We'll give this block attack mechanism a go. You hold down the left mouse button. And when it attacks, if you attack just at the right time... Come on, little puppy. Doesn't look like a dog, even though it says it is. Lock it. Done. Short-eared dog. Oh, now we're overweight. What can we drop? Nothing I want to drop. <laughs> now... One of the games, the thing about the games is if we have a look at our character, um, there's a number of skills here, uh, basically. So we've got their skills here. And as you use them, things go up. So running around is actually really good for strength. And so if you're constantly exhausting your uh, stamina, it's actually a good thing. And so we're going to keep doing that. We're just constantly attacking things, constantly running, and it will help us uh, improve our abilities over time. We'll eventually have to go swimming too and improve that. For now, it's night time. We've got to get to the grotto. And there are some items down there that, uh, I guess, cage down there. We have bones, puffball mushrooms, we got some scorpions. Kill them. I might pick them up. Probably be used for something. I think they're used for uh, poison bandages. Grab that. We want the Jatoba gum because it's good for starting fibers. Fibers. Good for starting fires. Okay. So here we've got our first uh, quest item, but we're in a world of hurt in terms of weight. So let us craft something. A bed going. The. Uh, Scorpions won't come back for a couple of in-game days, so we should be all right for that. Pick up a few items that we've got. Uh, we do need to eat something. So, let's go. Chance of ignition is zero. So, we need a fire starter. And this is where we can create a spindle, so we'll get ourselves, but it's only 20% chance of ignition. So it's really ridiculously low. And because it's night time, I now have a very bad chance of actually hurting myself. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> I was injured. Oh dear, of course. We'll do that again. Injure ourselves further. Okay, we got a fire starter. No fuel. Uh, add two sticks. Three hours looks good. That's bark, yellow leaves, again. minus 27 minutes for this process. Because yeah, if I use the, the tree bark, that's 54 minutes to try and start it. So we'll try using the gum. Let's see what happens. Oh, first time lucky. Very good. Right, we've got a fire. We are going to make one steamed bandage, because that's going to help us with our cut. We are going to, this is 40 minutes, just got to keep an eye on that. We get roast dog. And not the fire. Oh yeah, no fire. Uh, the fire has one hour 49 left. 20 minutes, yeah, we're good there. Let's do both crabs. I could get a scorpion venom. It helps with minor poisoning, poisoned and severe poison. Okay, that would actually be kind of handy. But I don't want to waste the materials. Um... Charcoal is quite handy to have, so we're going to make them. Now yeah, we're pretty good there. We've got 30 minutes left. We'll eat our food. It's only 13 food. It's actually not that much. We'll eat that. 13 food from that. Yeah, we'll eat that. We'll eat that. Uh, and we will rest. Let's have a look. Regen it. Oh, my water's low. It actually wants me to have that. Okay. Sure. Process that. And then we consume that. 
now above 60 we'll get good sleep it was basically down the bottom left here quality sleep was low because i didn't have enough water uh four hours till daylight let's do it all right raining got a bit of energy we need to use our bandage get rid of our cut it's gone we're back to being a little bit healthy all right read the letter Captain Juan Ponce de Leon also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. All right, a new thing to look for. Very good. Here's the living water. Note on living water. It can restore health. And we might as well look at the current island. So, uh, yeah, here we are on the left-hand side of the island at the grotto. The X is marking the spot where we actually want to get to. So that's where the uh, uh, spyglass will be. There's a couple of spots for water. Albeit that that's a pretty significant trip to go all the way around the base of the island. Although I could go across land. Just have to worry about there's basically water here. But it seems to be guarded by wolves. I don't think I've ever actually bothered to do the uh, skirt around the base of the island. Might as well take that. We've finished the map of the islands. Uh, I'm guessing this is the same where the shipwrecks are. Now, if we have a look at the map. We don't actually have any of the map done. This is another part of the game which I haven't actually done yet. Uh, the higher up you get, the better the mapping process is. And so that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, we'll get that it's you now raining, which is never fun. Alright, we're through to the other side. So we're a bit higher up now. I can't remember where it tells you where your altitude is. But uh, there is actually an indicator to say that. Mapping range 125, 3 hours. So this is the thing about mapping, it takes a huge amount of time. That very tall tree over there is one that's going to help, and that one over there is also going to help. But we need a rope, and I don't have a rope right now. So, I seem to recall there was a rope back at the starting point. So we're going to go find that, and we're going to try and climb that tree, and we're going to map the area. Just like uh, you stand under the trees for shade. No? I guess not. Um, ooh, that's not so good. Alright, that's fine. Maybe we can find something to stand under. Hey, there we go. Alright, while we're waiting for the rain. Leaf. That's sun protection, sun protection. None of them are uh, for rain protection. That's a bit unfortunate. And you can see here we've got... Uh, Adds 10 units to the carry weight. It's not the backpack though, is it? It's for arrows, and we want a liana, but we do want that. The liana built, but I haven't found the liana yet. We'll get to that soon enough. Let's craft some gear. Okay. Skirt. And sandals. Oh, a short one. Really? That's alright. Grab some stuff, get back to our shelter, and then we craft up boots, which wastes half the day just making all that. Now we've got all the stuff on there. So we've got 100% sun protection, which is brilliant. Now we could use the living water. The thing is it recovers 30 of the death. So if we actually have a look at our status right now, we are near death. 
but it's only a minus 10 penalty. And so I've always ummed and ahed. Like, I'm tempted to do it just because it's part of the game just to take it at the start. That's why they provide it. But it's not very efficient use of the item. Need lots of green ones. A bit of food. Okay, break those down. Hey, I got strength. And that's from my running around constantly. Alright, rain's done. I swear there was some rope on the ground here. Ah, there it is. Bingo. We need to build a base so I can put down all my stuff. That's the thing, right? Cool, I can hear a little short-eared dog. We just gotta be careful to listen out for snakes and pigs now. It got really dark. Not night time. Let's place a ladder on the tree. There we go. Nice. Alright, we're on the tree. It's actually a bird's nest here. But we want to use the map now. So when we go to the mapping, we can now see we've actually got a mapping range of 231, where it's only like 125 before, the current altitude of 77. Uh, so we will start the mapping process. It's just ridiculously time consuming. Uh, zooming out, we can see that a bunch of the animals, but zooming in a bit, we see a lot of the plant life. And what we're actually looking for, and we're going to be going to the, the east here, but we will need to find the liana. Appear to actually be in it's a big branch. There used to be a liana right here, and it's not there anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. We could grab some tobacco along the way. That's actually probably not a bad idea. There is a pathway through here, so we're probably going to just follow this pathway. That head there is actually a, a point of interest, so we might go look at that too. Uh, but that mountain that we were on, the grotto, it's the next one over. You can actually walk up a long way and we'll see a pathway soon enough. Now, from memory, these red things here, you have to be careful of them. They're uh, nettles, so you touch them and it hurts. Can we get the butterflies? If maybe you can get an item later on that captures them. All right, are we on the edge? We are on the edge. It's probably why it didn't pick up the liana. It's up here. Oh, we actually see uh, Bird of Paradise, a lovely flower. It's actually uh, quite common in my local area, the old uh, paradise. What's that? Yeah, I can hear the bugs. Right, there's a snake. Uh, right there. What's this? Nothing. I wonder if throwing the spear would kill it. I don't really want to fight it just yet, so we'll... Give it a bit of a wide berth. Ah, there's one. You can see it. Just be careful with uh, what I'm walking through here. Because the last time I came across a liana bush, it had a pig. Can you hear it? That's oh, over there. I mean, there was two of them. One to the left and one to the right. Snakes everywhere. Yeah, so this tree, you can see the vine wrapping around it. This is the one where we can actually get the liana, and that's going to put me way overweight. But we want it. We want it bad. Ah, sneak. Let's move a bit further away over this side. Hey, there we go. But we have the liana now, which is brilliant. And what we can do... Okay, clothing we need. Liana rope. It's under other items. Why wouldn't that be under, like under tools or something? Anyway, let's create two of those. It takes an hour to make the rope. Oh my goodness, that was a long time. We can now make a liana belt. Also, it's going to take an hour. Hmm. Oh, I need a workbench. Are you kidding? All right. 
The journey continues. Here's one of the things that we will eventually be checking out. So this is kind of a interaction point. Song of the Golden Age. So obviously as you find these artifacts, you get a little bit more knowledge about the civilization uh, that used to be here. Uh, and you can follow this pathway. There's quite a number of interesting points of interest at the top of that mountain. And there's also a, a very good mapping point all the way at the top. But that's not what we're trying to do right now. We want a good base of operations. These plants, if you walk into them, they actually hurt. Uh, prior to the early access, they didn't have the little spiky bits on them. They just looked like twigs, but they still hurt when you walk into them. Uh, you can try and kind of go through them, and it is possible. Uh, don't know if that's going to let me go nicely through there. Yeah, it will. Cool. But yeah, if you walk through them, it hurts. Uh, probably kind of like the scorpion. You take a point of damage or so um, from being hit by the spikes. Otherwise, you can tear them apart and get sticks out of them. Very handy because you do end up needing a lot of sticks. But only handy once you get to the place where you want to set up shop. I kind of want that tree. Can I place a ladder? Because i got the liana rope now, right? Yeah, very good. Okay, we've got another nest up there. I don't really want a nest, but oh, check out this view. All right, so that, that's where I'm aiming to go, right? So this beach here, that's where I want to set up my base. Um, this area, it's nice and open. You've got, uh, that's the field which has the water and the wolves that were mentioned on the map. This is the mountain where I was talking where the, the walkway upwards, there's actually an alternate pathway up that side. Uh, there's a bunch of various trees for palm fronds and everything else, kind of useful. There's various other creatures. So it's, it's not really central, but it has got a nice bay. And so I want to use that for constructing a shipyard if possible. Um, oh, there's actually something going on just here too, by the looks of that, a point of interest. But when we map it out, we should actually get that information. So we've only got one charcoal left, 370. Yeah, so we're even higher than we were before because it was only 77 before. So this is going to give us even more things to see. Oh, look at that span. It's huge. So the Chronicles, I suspect that this Chronicles, if I look that way... Yeah, that's kind of the mountain that I was actually looking at. There's some pigs around there. A liana, tobacco, special object, short eared dog surrounded by long sticks, uh, and oh, uh, we want to go over here. That's where we're aiming for. And yeah, it's got the, the jackals surrounded by harpies and short eared dogs. There's actually a tortoise there, which is even better. And uh, we want a shell. Oh, it's peccary over there, too. Should be some good meat. So, lots of things to look forward to. Coconut palms, date palms. All right, it be nighttime once again. Sort of flashing over there, so there's actually a special object over there too. This tree's actually really good for seeing what I want. But um, there's another tall tree over there. That should be another tall tree over there. Uh, that was the original tall tree we were actually jumping on. Question is, do I uh, wait or do we go? I think we just go. Night time's no fun, but uh, we've got to get to where we're going. Let's roll. Pile of scrap. You can hear the whining of a bee, I guess that is, or something similar. Ow! Oh, you rotten thing. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the ground. Gonna hear the chicken. Let's just run. All right, we've been poisoned. I think I've still got some scorpions. So I can set up a fire. Oh, here we go. We can cook up a poison brew, and we'll be fine. All right, let's just do it. Craft. I don't want a fire starter. What's it gonna be under? Shelter. Smoke signal, machines, there we go. Campfire with stones. Oh, I don't have any more rocks. I dropped one. But it allows me to bake food. Oh, that sounds brilliant. Okay. Let's pop it there. 
replace all the resources. We need one more rock. Yeah, I see you, buddy. So there's a big rock over there. Can we do it? Should I change weapons? Alright. Block ready. Thirteen damage. Oh, that was huge. Oh, I've got the blocking hit in. Nice. Oh, it's running. Okay, spear broke. Ooh. Okay, twenty <laughs> injury. Okay. Um Alright. Big rock. Let's just head over here. We uh I think I needed those big rocks for other things. Don't know if I want to actually utilize that just yet. Can we repair it? Repair? Repair? No? No option? Alright. Alright, alright. Sure. What we need to do is check our surroundings. We need ourselves a... Well, could just make a bed. And, uh, hope for the best. Primitive bed of leaves. Do it. Okay, four hours sleep. Let's do it. Okay. We need a rock. Is that a rock? No, it's a weird little mark on the wall. Uh, it's not dark anymore. Let's harvest. Oh, very good. Oh, hello. Found it. Gotcha. That's a huge amount of time to build it. Okay. We're missing long sticks and other things, but that's fine. Fireplace it is gets the the good thing. You can always rebuild the bed. Needs four branches, or we need two long branches and six sticks. I reckon that's the better go, right? Oh yeah, there you are. Hiding on top of the hill up there. Come on, we're on, buddy. Three long sticks sounds pretty bloody good. Uh, we're halfway through the day, so we're doing all right. Oh, another three. Yeah, I'll have that. We're heavy, but so be it. Canopy. Place them all. It's going to take us one hour and 26. It's not quite night time. It's brilliant. Oh, sleep is a problem though. So we're going to rest for three hours. We get a little bit of energy. That's going to take one hour, which will put us into night time. Or I could put food. Here, yeah, we'll ignite that. Didn't work. Ignite that. Uh oh, not it. Whew. Thank goodness for that. Don't have any crabs. We do have roast meat. Fire has one out of 55. Okay, we'll do that. Not much of the fire left. Yeah, we'll start a fire later. All right, let's just eat one of these. 20 food. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Seven hours. Rest it up. <laughs> what are we on? Well, we've got a stomach ache. Of course we do. That'll be what the chamomile's for, right? You have a chamomile tea. That way it uh, improves your health. Build our box. Yeah. Alright, well. That will certainly do for the first episode. I've uh, got myself... A little bit of a start. We've got ourselves a shelter. We've got ourselves a permanent fire. A bit of storage. We've got the makings of our crafting going on. And we'll continue to outfit this area. I want to get fully stuck into the crafting side of things. Because basically we can build a house. Uh, but to do this we apparently need a builder's toolkit. I assume that to get the builder's toolkit we need a carpentry workbench. And uh, prior to that we're going to need 
an actual workbench. Ooh, bone knife. Needs a regular workbench. So we definitely need to get the regular workbench amongst other things. But we have some shelter. We have food surrounding us, which is plentiful. Uh, the water, yeah, not so much, but I guess there's a lot of coconut trees around here, so I should be pretty good for the water. And next time, when we get stuck into survival fountain of youth, I'm going to repair my illnesses. So I have a stomach ache. I have uh, minor poisoning and a near death. So we resolve all of those and we'll start scouting the area to uh, get ourselves a more permanent base, which is um, sheltered completely from the elements. Thanks for listening in. This has been Scavig, and I will catch you in the next one.